lies from the enemy. I want you to have no delays in your marriage be restored. And do you all agree about that? Okay. But do you, can you say tonight that you have had attacks, you have had doubts, you have had fears, and you have had moments that you have been ready to give up? Would you all say that? Yeah? Okay. Well, we have got to stand up and say we're not going to fall prey to the tricks and the lies of the enemy. And I am saying to you, and I am begging and pleading for all of us, because we all are going to have a time. We all go through attacks, and if you think you're not going to have attacks when your marriage is um, restored, I've got a couple of right here who can tell you that you're going to have attacks. But we have to become aware of the attacks, and we have to be smart about the attacks. And that is why we have to believe that God is the creator of the heaven and the earth. And he has told us, and personally has been speaking to us, giving us promises. He showed us what us to do. So he is on our team. So we have got to come to the point that we say, we're not going to fall prey to the lies of the enemy. But we are falling prey to the lies of the enemy. There are many that fall a lot into the trap of believing the enemy. There are many standers that fall into the trap and, and they give up standing or they have a relationship with someone or they are any number of things. I can give you a list. You know them because you've gone through some of them. And I am saying to you, will you come to the point, if you have to play, do you believe? Every day till your spouse comes home, and then a few weeks afterwards, will you do what needs to be necessary to really sell out to your Lord and not be deceived or fall into that trap? We need to know that God loves us so much that he sent his only son 